Hello, this is Don Victor, and I want to walk you through another Joseph de Camp painting. This one is called The Guitarist, or The Guitar Player. Um, and I find this to be one of the most fascinating, cool paintings I've ever seen. On the surface, again, you see the noun. You see that it's beautifully rendered. It's, it's wonderful, a wonderful representation. It's uh, classic. But let's go deeper than just the surface. Let's go beyond what you see and see what the designer, the composer, was doing to give us an experience. One of the techniques that I share with my students is a thing called a change of charge. I learned this from Norman Rockwell because he said in his work, one of the secrets to his success was that he can make you feel two emotions in one image. Now, the beauty about feeling two emotions is when you feel one emotion and then you transfer to another emotion, something has occurred. You've now, uh, the image has now caused you to travel through time, okay? The image has stirred or triggered within you two feelings that now you have to have dialogue in, uh, about. So this is what it is to actually deliver an experience to someone. So in this image, if you divide this uh, uh, painting in half, at the top part, is one charge. It's very still, very calm, very peaceful. At the bottom, you have activity. You can see there's a lot more diagonals and lines and verticals and horizontals and all kinds of things and colors and values of more contrast, this and that. And the top, very calm. It might go from cool to warm, it's, but it's very, very subtle transitions of value and it's just calm. It's peaceful. And the only thing that pops up there are two little elements. There's this little dark element to the right side, uh, which I believe may be uh, a scroll of uh, music. But on the other, but in the center is the woman, the guitarist. Her head is peering up into this, this space. It's almost like the tip of an iceberg. And then underneath that water level is all this, this activity. Okay. So we clearly see that the designer has strategically composed two different charges two different emotions, energies, feelings, realities. Now, if we start where the eye normally starts, at the top left-hand uh, corner of a work of art, and then it flows through because as we're reading it, that's how our eye moves through the image, you'll see that your eye goes across and then back and forth, and, and it descends, but there's no information there for it to really grab a hold of. I mean, there is information. There's value shifts and, and uh, um, temperature shifts, but it's all very, very, very low friction work. And so you just have this very peaceful back and forth. It takes time if you allow your eye to move through the image properly. It takes time before it actually gets to the woman. And so it's just this moment of quiet dissension. Something is quietly patiently descending and then it comes into her right side which is the part uh, the, the side of her where she's strumming the guitar if we're looking at the image I guess it would be the left side of the painting now if you notice her neck and her face her face her neck on both sides one is very light which goes into and it's warm and it goes into this light background one side is dark going into a light background. And so therefore we enter into her through that left because of the high contrast. The other side, if you squint your eyes, her, her, she fades away into the background. So we know that he has strategically placed us in her through that position. Once we get in that position, our eye then curves around, it comes to her shoulder, but if we, because there's a, a high co point of contrast there, but then her other shoulder becomes very light against the dark of that wood, and it pops. And so what happens is, because her eye comes in, it flows down to the shoulder, then it rides across, it, it pops to that other shoulder, but it also guides across the top of her dress. Once it hits there, then it comes down and it curves up through her arm, up through the paper, and back up into the stillness. This is... The, what the painting is. The painting is not really about a woman with a guitar. The painting is about the moment in which she gets it. 
She hears the song. She hears the music that she wants to play. And this is the first strum. Boom. She She's waiting for the inspiration. She's waiting. She's thinking and thinking, and then she's got it. This is what I'm going to play. So this painting is not about a woman sitting on a couch jamming, you know, out. That comes next. This is the moment in which she realizes this is the the music that I want to manifest. It's that 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 first mark, like an artist putting his first mark on a piece of paper. This is the first strum. This is why it's profound. Of course, paint it extremely well, drawn really well, drafted really well, but it's designed and composed to deliver an experience. <laughs>